Hi everybody, it's Sandra from The Funky Pickle. I just have a little bit of a Christmas ornament mini haul for you. I just stopped at a church thrift store. I paid $15 for everything. So I got a lot of great stuff for the tree, but I do not collect hall Hallmark ornaments. So these I'm gonna be selling. Hopefully I'll be able to get $10 each for these. This is lovely, that lights up. eBay people, if you're interested, anything that is movie related is worth looking into. If it's a Hallmark keepsake, also when they light and they spin around and they play music, I think this one plays music. There's a very sweet Madame Alexander ornament. And so that's adorable. Of course, anything Looney Tunes is always collectible. And does this do anything? Mm, I guess not. Oh, that's actually really cute though. Look at that. And that one has motion. So I'm guessing that probably spins around or maybe it goes up and down. So this one does move and looks like there's a little boy who's gonna be playing the drums. Oh, that's adorable. So here's another great one. These magic ornaments can be good sellers too. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. So I'm hoping to make $80 off of these, which more than pays for the ornaments that I got that I'm gonna be keeping. So let's take a look at those. Oh wait, no, two more money makers, I hope. This is a beautiful Gorham Angel. Take a look at this. This is glass with gold plated wings. This is actually gorgeous, look at this. And this is also in the original box. So I bought that one to sell too. And then I also bought this one to sell. I know people collect cats. I thought maybe this would be of interest, Jerusalem Old City, I'm guessing that's some sort of a collectible item. I don't know, I didn't look it up yet, we'll see. Anyhow, okay, so these are the things that I'm gonna be putting up on my page to sell. Now let's look at what I'm gonna keep because I got some cool stuff. Check this out. First up, they have this whole bag of plastic ornaments and they charge a dollar for the whole bag. So here's one of these great old Santa ornaments that I love so much. I think candy maybe originally came in that, but this is awesome. I love these metallic ones and this is in really nice shape. You notice it doesn't have much loss of paint. Now here's one I don't have. I don't have anything like this. This is a great 50s or 60s plastic ornament. So this metallic pipe cleaner thing, I don't know if that was originally around his neck. Oh, that's pretty cool. So this is an Irwin. I didn't even know that. Hopefully you can read that. I've sold Irwin in the past. I've had dolls and stuff like that. I never had a Santa one that I know of. So I'm definitely putting this one on the tree. Then I got this adorable Rudolph ornament. How cute is this? Another plastic one. So a little bit of trivia. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was a story or a child's book that was written in 1939. But anyway, it didn't really hit the pop culture mainstream until Johnny Marks wrote the song, and it was, of course, famously sung by Gene Autry. It's a huge selling record for Gene Autry. Anyway, there's probably a lot more information than you ever wanted about Rudolph, but there you go. So here's a fantastic plastic house. Look at this. Whoa. Not marked, but that's probably Japan. How cool is this? This is in really fabulous condition. And you know what I love about this one is the hanger. Very cool. So I think I have another plastic snowman just like this one, but mine is not in this condition. This is in great shape. Cool, I hope I'm gonna have room on my tree. I am gonna be putting, um, I am gonna be making a video of my Christmas tree this year, so stay tuned for that. But then the favorite thing in life happened to me. I love these little guys. And I say guys because yes, there was two of them. Check these out. I already have another one of these on the tree and my husband's sort of afraid of it, which cracks me up. So now there's gonna be three on the tree. In fact, a couple of years ago, it was a running joke. Every time he went by the tree, he turned it around and then I would turn it back. And he would say, do you keep turning that? And I would say, I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about, honey. I have no idea. Just sort of watch him visibly shudder. Anyway, these are super cool. I see what he's saying. They are kind of creepy elves, right? They're like a little bit like devilish. 
So all those plastic ornaments together, plus Rudolph, those were all a dollar. That's unbelievable. I can't even believe how lucky I am. So let's move on to some that were homemade. And uh, these are actually pretty cool too. Check this out. Look at this big bird. This was lovingly crocheted or knitted or something. Is that crochet or knit? I can never tell the difference. But this is a pretty awesome big bird head. I love that. And then we have <laughs> Ernie. How cool is Ernie? He even has a scarf. Look at his scarf. Oh, it's going the wrong way. I see. Oh, I see what you did there. Person who made this, you even put sequins on a scarf. Well, isn't that charming? So somebody also very cleverly made this awesome cactus. How cool is this? This is all felt. It seems like it's hand done. Nothing like a nice Christmas cactus on the tree. That's cute. And it looks like somebody made this too. This is an awesome unicorn. How cute is this? That's felt. It looks like it's all hand sewn, right? That's adorable. I don't know if this one is quite kitschy enough for me. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm going to see if it goes on the tree or not. I'm going to try it out. French fries, anyone? And not only are they French fries, these are French fries with bling. Check out those beads. How cute is this? But wait, there's more. Somebody also made this fabulous hamburger. How many? Look at this. What are these layers, do you think? It's like a bun with sesame seeds, a tomato. I don't know what that is. That's lettuce and pickles, maybe? There's the burger and there's the bun. Hmm, maybe this is ketchup and mustard. Uh, well, that's pretty adorable. Somebody did some great work on these, you must say. Very creative and a lot of fun. And then there's this awesome hand carved lion, but she put this, this knitted cap and those mittens. Does anyone remember these mittens with the strings? God, I haven't thought of those in years. So you wouldn't lose your mittens when you were a little kid and they would be connected like that. Anyway, that's adorable. <laughs> oh man, that is such a cute ornament. How cute is that? Wow. All right, two last things that I thought were super cute. Look at this bird feeder, what? How adorable is that? Look how little it is. Oh, I can't wait to put this on my tree. And then I have one last thing which is really bizarre. Look at this. It's like an old time footballer. This is certainly um, celluloid. This is very, very light. It says Japan. I would guess this is probably from the 40s, maybe even as old as the 30s, but look at that condition. Uh, face maybe is a little bit crushed, but you know, maybe someone tackled them. I don't know. Check that out. Look at the color. Isn't that cool? Such a cool turquoise blue. Anyhow, that's my little haul that I just got about an hour ago at a thrift store. Gonna sell these, make all my money back. And I paid $15 for all this stuff. And then the woman at the church was like really strong arming me to buy some fresh holly, which of course I did gladly. So anyhow, that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, I am gonna put up my Christmas tree. I gotta hang all these ornaments and that video will be coming up shortly. Cheers, everybody.